children good morning rise and shine time for learnings in lockdown all right i know that you're all happy for one reason and do you know what that is it's because you have no school right you're also sad because you can't just go out and play with your friends right but anyways we have learnings in lockdown okay i want to ask you something what day is it today yeah that's right can you tell it a bit louder what day is it today it's good friday why is it a good friday what about monday tuesday wednesday don't you think it's a good monday good tuesday good wednesday of course it is children because god made all the days alike and each day every day is good for everybody who believes and trusts in jesus but today we specially remember the death of our lord jesus christ or when is the day jesus died i don't know if it is truly today but it is a fact it is true that jesus died for you and me for your sin and my sin and he rose again on the third day don't forget that all right very soon we will also celebrate that day too but never separate the birth the death and resurrection of our lord jesus christ all right so why not sing some songs and praise the name of the lord because it is good friday and we want to thank our lord jesus for loving us so dearly that he gave up his own life for you and for me Let us sing some song. Okay kids, I know we are all missing out our Sunday school and we are all just singled out at home, but still stand up, do the actions and sing along with us.
Name Timothy, not that Timothy, okay? Timothy from the Bible. 1 Timothy 1:15. 1 Timothy 1:15. Christ Jesus, please follow the actions. Christ Jesus came into the world. We have a great big world, right? So you can do the big globe, okay? Say it a bit louder. Christ Jesus. This is the action. Christ Jesus. Came into the world, a little louder, came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Of whom I am chief. 1 Timothy 1.15 1 Timothy 1.15 I'm sure you got it kids. You are brilliant and you are very very smart and I know that. Come on, let's try it one last time, all of us together. Here we go, 3, 2 and 1. 1 Timothy 1, 15. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Let's do it one last time, here we go. 1 Timothy 1, 15. Say it. Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus came into the world, came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief, of whom I am chief. 1 Timothy 1.15 You did a great job. I'm sure you got it. Can you please pat yourselves? Come on. 
a bit harder. Yeah, if you have your brother or sister beside you, time to pat them. Come on, fight, 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 fight. Okay, okay, not me. Thank you. I hope you got today's golden nugget. Happy Good Friday. Friday. Good morning, Pilelu. How are you all doing? Are you ready to focus for 15 minutes? Wow, so then listen up. I have something very special to share with you today. I know you all are waiting for Harrow Sparrow. We will definitely talk about Harrow Sparrow and learn things from his life. But today, I want to share a very, very, very special story with you. So please listen very carefully and think about what I am telling. Listen up. Did you ever fall sick? 
of course you must have right i also felt sick so when we fall sick we go to the doctor what does the doctor do he gives us injections do you like injections no he gives us medicine do you like medicine no it doesn't taste good right so there was a little girl her name was ella ruth she fell sick one day she had a very bad tummy ache and they went to the doctor the doctor gave her a medicine when it was time for ella ruth to take the medicine ella ruth asked her father daddy why does my medicine taste so terrible when it actually heals me then daddy said that's a very good question but i think you need to ask grandpa about that so ella ruth took her medicine she went and took a nap and she was waiting for grandpa to come home as soon as grandpa came home ella ruth ran towards grandpa and she said grandpa i have to ask you something why does my medicine taste so bad when it actually makes me feel so good and it will heal my tummy ache why does it taste so bad then grandpa laughed and he said you know you know something ella sometimes things that look so good so wonderful and things that taste so good are very very awful but sometimes things that look so terrible are actually very very good you know ella i know a story in which both of these strange things are true then ella said why don't you tell me the story grandpa then grandpa and ella sat on the couch and grandpa started his story he said not long ago there was a great king his name was the king of life he was called the king of life because he had the power to create plants animals even humans the king of life created a very beautiful garden with beautiful flowers with lot of streams and he also created a beautiful fountain which he placed in the middle of the garden in the center of the garden and cool and fresh and bubbling water used to flow out of the fountain he also created humans and all his all the people who were in the garden were very happy with the king they enjoyed walking with him every day the king used to visit his people and they used to love spending time with the king and they used to enjoy the beauty of the garden walking together in the garden one day the king told his people listen guys you can drink from all the streams of this garden but you cannot drink from the fountain which is placed in the center of the garden first the people wondered why but then because they loved the king they loved their king so much so they said okay we will not as days passed by they kept spending time with each other the people loved the king so much and the king loved the people so much but one day there was a stranger who came in a black cloak he stood beside the fountain and he called all the people and he said listen people do you know why your king does not want you to drink out of this fountain because if you drink from this fountain you will become as great as your king then the people started wondering what if these strangers words were true we want to drink from the fountain so the stranger quickly he filled a cup from that cool fresh bubbling fountain he filled the cup and he gave it to the people and he said come on drink it's okay just drink the people did not think for a minute because they were disobeying their king yet they heard the stranger's voice and they drank from the fountain as soon as the people drank a terrible thing happened what happened their hearts were turned into stone they no longer had any love for the king the king looked down and he was very very disappointed with his people the people hated the king they didn't even want to spend time with the king anymore they went out of the garden and they soon went away far far away from the king and they built a city 
called the man they were busy building their city they were not being good to each other their hearts were so cold they were being so cruel and the king he still loved his people because he is the one who created his people so because he was the king he had every right to destroy his people because they did not obey his command so the king would be justified by doing that but the king is very loving right the king did not want to destroy his people instead he want to revive the relationship between him and the people and he wanted to make their hearts like before you know what the king did he already had a plan in his mind the king went to the prince and asked him for a favor he said will you help me in healing the people and their hearts the prince because he loves his father so dearly and also he loves his people he said of course father i will i will do what do you want me to do the king said i want you to go down to the city of man the city which the people built and you will find a fountain there and here is the golden cup the king handed him over a cup and he said here is the cup you have to fill this cup with the water which is flowing from the fountain from the middle of the city of man and drink that for me what was so difficult about this mission do you know something the fountain which was in the city of man that was a fountain of poison so the king was asking the prince to drink poison what yes he was because the prince loved his father so much he said yes father i will drink the cup i will drink the cup because i choose to please you then the father said remember you have to drink the cup because that is the only way to heal our people then the prince he started his journey towards the city of man he walked and walked and a lot of friends followed him nobody actually really knew what the prince was up to but he knew his mission he was determined to please his father though it was very very difficult isn't it children who can ever drink a poison but the prince because he loved his father so dearly and he obeyed his father he wanted to go and drink from the fountain of poison soon the prince entered the city of man the people were not good at all few of them recognized the prince that he was the son of the king of life but because the people did not have any love for the king they hated the prince they mocked him they cursed him they stoned him and sometimes they even hurt him so much yet the prince was determined to move forward he was searching and searching for the fountain of poison one day he entered into a big plaza and there in the middle was the fountain of poison all the people were looking at what the prince was doing they were wondering why is he going to the fountain of poison they were mocking him they were cursing him they were shouting different kinds of bad things at him and there in the middle of the plaza there was the king's arch enemy in that black cloak you remember the stranger yes he was standing there beside the fountain of poison the prince handed over the cup to the arch enemy and the enemy with a great mocking laugh he filled the cup with the poison which was flowing from the fountain and he gave it to the prince for a minute the prince thought i wish i didn't have to do this but then he remembered his father's words the king's words you have to drink this cup because that is the only way to heal the people so the, the so the prince without a word he took the cup 
and he took a sip the poison tasted awful it was bitter it was hurting his throat his throat was burning his stomach was aching yet he was determined to drink that cup to to the last sip so the prince lifted up the cup and he drank every sip which was in the cup the stranger who was standing by the fountain he was laughing and mocking the people were shouting and cursing the prince yet the prince remembered the love of the king for his people and because he loved the father so much he obeyed finally when he finished drinking the poison the cup fell down the prince bent down his head he closed his eyes and he fell to the ground oh the stranger who was standing by the fountain he was laughing like the laugh of a victor like he was laughing so loud and he was feeling so happy and he thought that finally these people are never going to change they are going to be my people and i am going to rule over them thought the stranger but suddenly you know something happened there was a bright light which entered the place somebody was walking through the bright light the stranger who was standing in the black cloak he tried to hide his eyes but the brightness was so 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 shiny that he just couldn't stand in that place and he ran away from that place the people were so scared that everybody fled from that place who was it the stranger started shouting run run away everybody that is the king of life who is coming yes it was the king of life the king of life came to where the prince was lying and he saw the prince he saw the cup he knows that the prince drank the poison but the king of life you know what happened because he was the creator because he was all powerful children he brought his son back to life isn't that amazing and as soon as the son the prince was alive there was something very wonderful which happened what was it the fountain which was bubbling that awful murky smelly smelly poison it was not poisonous anymore the fountain it was healed there was fresh cool water which was flowing out of the fountain like the fountain which was in the garden you remember yes exactly like that fountain and the prince stood up he picked up his cup he filled water from that fountain and he stretched it out to the people and he said if any of you thirst come to me and drink from this fountain and you will never thirst again there was a little boy who came forward and he said can i drink from that cup the prince said of course and he handed over the cup to the little boy the little boy took a sip all the people were looking anxiously what is going to happen to this boy but you know something the nothing happened to the boy he felt amazing there some kind of special peace in his heart and there was joy which was flowing and he was smiling and with great gratitude he bent down to the king and to the prince and he just said thank you so much thank you so much for this privilege and allowing me to drink from that fountain so all the people there they saw the prince and they saw the little boy that it was really wonderful soon their hearts were no longer stone of course there were other people whose hearts were stones and they were not really feeling good but there were other people some other people who actually felt good and they also wanted to drink from the fountain so they came they drank from the fountain and you know what happened children the love for their king has been restored in their hearts and they enjoyed walking with the king day and night 
and they loved both the prince and the king and they were filled with gratitude for what the king has done to them by sacrificing the prince and allowing him to drink the poison in their place so that was the story which grandpa told ella then ella said grandpa i think i know another prince who did the same thing do you also know children who was that prince yes that was jesus he died in our place the bible says that we his people we all did not have any love for the king our hearts were so hard but because the prince jesus christ came down to this earth he drank the poison which was the cross he he died in our place he took our punishment because the only way that our relationship with the king of life would be restored was by a sacrifice somebody had to take the punishment but because the king of life is so loving but because the king of life our god is so kind and he cares for us he sent his only son to die for our sins to drink that poison to restore us back to life so children in spite of all this virus or all this sickness around you whatever that might be you we have to remember that we have hope in jesus if not for the corona virus if not for the sickness some day we all are going to die and that is for a fact right can you escape death can i escape death no we cannot it is going to happen to us just like how we are born into this earth we are surely going to die one day and that is for a fact but children remember we don't have to feel scared about death because even if you die you don't really die do you know how yes when you have jesus in your heart when you believe that prince died for you on the cross of calvary and rose again on the third day and that if you ask him to come into your heart you will have eternal hope so children today do you want to give your hearts to jesus do you want to give your heart to the prince who drank that poison for you and for me remember children the king loves us so much he will never let us down he will never ever let us down and the king's ways will never fail us all we have to do all we have to do is give our hearts to jesus do you want to give your heart to jesus if yes then let's pray dear heavenly father we come into your presence this morning thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come into your presence We thank you so much for sending your only son Lord Jesus Christ to die for our sins on the cross of Calvary. And you have sent him in our place. He took all the punishment so that we might be restored back in fellowship with you. So heavenly Father, please if any of this dear child has prayed that prayer, please hear their prayer. Lord come into their hearts and be their savior thank you so much for sending your only son so that he could die for our sins on the cross of calvary thank you for the gift of salvation that you have given to us and god even when we die we will not really die because there is hope in jesus christ thank you for this wonderful opportunity in jesus christ's name we pray amen